Hi, Austin. We've got the solution for you. And this uh, happened back in 2018. And we wrote it so that you can have that trimming operation in any corner. So here I've set a variable to do number two for the upper left corner is where you had it. So let's take a look how it works. This was, like I said, this was done back in 2018. And um, it's available for everybody. So it works exactly, does exactly what you want it to do. And here's how it works. So I've got my router sim automation suite. And I've got a job that does two-sided nesting. It could be single part or it could be multiple parts. And let's see, the two-sided. This one actually goes halfway through. And um, let's go ahead and just so you see, let me show you the results of it. All right, here's what it looks like. The sheet uh, is put on the table upside down first. And it trims this lower left corner of the sheet. There's a little tool path there that's trimming that corner. And it takes off uh, however much you want. Then when it flips over, that corner is up here. So there's that same corner back up here. And we can go ahead and run that. It's not much to see. It just wanted to show you that it does do exactly what you wanted. Uh, we can go ahead and run the job. And like I said, we're going to do uh, put the sheet on the table upside down, do all the backside operations. So that means you can have parts nested in there. Some have backside, some don't, if you like. And then when it flips the whole sheet over, it relocates to the corner that you like. This particular customer had pop-up pins in the lower left and the upper left corner, which is what you are doing as well, but you just don't have the pop-up pins. That's all. Um, you can make a little fence of some sort just so that the guy sticks something in the corner to locate the sheet better, uh, especially if you're going to go halfway through on the one side and the other. So the toolpath is being generated down here. The lower left corner, which this would be zero, 00 on the back side. It's doing pocketing and a stay down nest halfway through these. And this particular job is... Uh, UHMW plastic. These gears are for bottle handling equipment. And it takes the, the dishwashing soap bottle, for example, and moves it along. So I got a backside sheet and a front side sheet right here. That's the NC code files. And then here is my tool path down here on the lower left corner here. And you could specify if you want to trim that whole edge in X and Y or a specific amount in X and Y. So some machines, if they only have a pop-up pin right here, you don't need to trim the whole edge. But in this case, we're trimming that whole edge. And then when you flip it over, that trim edge is back up there. So that should be exactly how you uh, requested it. One of the programmers remember doing that. And uh, we have it. So there's a tool path right here. It's actually turning cutter comp on cutting that lower left corner. Then when you flip it over, you put the lower left corner back up on the top here. And that's your two-sided nesting exactly how you wanted it. Thanks for taking a look.